Foster here, answering your questions submitted via Instagram. This question, submitted by Mississippian Skeptic, is How can we tell the Earth is a globe? There are several ways you can tell the Earth is a globe. One is through lunar eclipses. Lunar eclipses are caused by the Earth's shadow blocking sunlight. The Earth's shadow is round. Another way we can tell is by looking towards the horizon. If you look out at a body of water at approaching ships, the ships appear to be emerging out of the sea. Since most ships aren't equipped as submarines and emerge dry, we know this is an illusion. The ships aren't emerging from the sea, but rather climbing over the horizon. If you look up really close at a sphere, like this apple, and move a tiny object around it into your line of sight, the object looks like it's emerging from inside the apple when it's climbing over the edge. You can also look out at a non-water horizon from the ground and then from the top of a mountain or a very high building. The higher you go, the further you see. Even in the rural Midwest where there's nothing blocking your view, just corn and soybeans as far as the eye can see. In the apple, the closer my eye is to the surface, the less of the apple I can see. But as I pull away, I can see more and more. From space, it's obvious that the Earth is round. If you believe the moon is just magical and don't have a body of water or a tall thing to climb nearby, you can also show that the Earth is round by using two sticks and a sunny day. If you position two sticks of the same height in the ground at some distance apart, you can measure the curvature of the Earth by their shadows. If the Earth were flat, the sun's angle to both sticks would be the same, and the length of their shadows would also be the same. However, on a round Earth, the angle of the sun on the sticks would be slightly different, and even identically tall sticks would have a different shadow length. In fact, you can use the distance between the sticks, the sticks' heights, and the corresponding shadow lengths to calculate the circumference of the Earth. Eratosthenes, a Greek mathematician and the head of the library at Alexandria, actually did that around 2200 years ago. At exactly noon on the summer solstice, a stick placed in the ground in Seen would cast no shadow, but a stick in the ground in Alexandria at exactly noon on the summer solstice cast a seven degree shadow. Measuring shadows in degrees normalizes for stick height. Anyways, if the sticks cast shadows seven degrees apart at the exact same time, the two cities must be seven degrees apart on the Earth, out of 360 total degrees in a circle. So Eratosthene hires some guy to measure the distance between Seen and Alexandria and gets about 5,000 stadia, or 800 kilometers. Seven degrees is about 1 50th of 360 degrees, so 800 kilometers times 50 equals 40,000 kilometers which should be the rough circumference of the Earth. In the mid-20th century, we launched satellites to map the planet and get an exact circumference. 40,030 kilometers. 2,200 years ago in ancient Greece, a nerd used two sticks, some guy running between cities, and basic ratios to calculate the circumference of the Earth and was off by a rounding error. Astra out. Thank you so much for joining us here on Bad Astra. If you enjoyed watching, please like this video, leave a comment telling us what topic you'd like to see next month, and share it with everyone you know. Be sure to also subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss a new episode. And if you can't get enough of me, Eris, and Science Tommy, join our Patreon, where we post behind the scenes, deep dives, and other fun content. A special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. Astra out.